Wait a minute. Can you repeat what you just said, Martha? Kazaka wrought destruction on the kingdom of Ozeka, and the holy fire that consumed Kazaka originated from the mountain of eternal winter. Where did it go after? Is there any more information? Oh, come on. How am I supposed to know that? Oh, for the love of you and that hot head of yours. Honestly, it's no wonder Eden... Ah, bloody choppy. One of these days, I'll burst a blood vessel just trying huh? to... Oh, you're already here. Ah, you've come. Sit, please. <clears throat> I've been thinking it's time we changed our tactics. Otherwise, we'll always be playing catch-up with the blasted witch Elizabeth. Do you know what me and my assistant had to go through in that Taraxian? You don't, because you were late. And why was that? Because you were downing 21-year-old Alejandro wine with Martha. Ah, can you just pipe down, Miss Know-It-All? Be that as it may, I don't think now's a prudent time to go to your Lunakia. Do you remember the book that Elezra's minion had in Tariff? The holy flame, the Yenix, is capable of consuming even the mightiest of gods. However, the true form of the Yenix can only be awakened by the heart of Atomagia. All those who seek the Yenix without the heart will be consumed by its flames and burned to ashes. The heart of Atomagia is already in the hands of Elesra, and it's clear as day that she's waiting for us to blunder into another one of her traps. Knowing this, what we need now is an approach she'd never expect. So, our next target is the Yenix. We need to find the Holy Flame before she does. If Elezra's to awaken the 100,000 at all with the heart of Atomagia, she'll need something to power such an enormous army with. But if we can seal the Enix so it cannot be awakened again, it matters not that Elezra has the heart. All of her efforts shall be for naught, and we'll have finally exacted a little revenge of our own. Killing two birds with one stone. We'll be killing to but yeah, stop butting in, will you? Mm, anyway, this is our plan, so will you join us? There aren't any records indicating the Enix's whereabouts after Roseka. But if we head to the Mountain of Eternal Winter, its origin, we might be able to learn something. Did you say you plan to go to the Mountain of Eternal Winter? One does not simply walk into the Mountain of Eternal Winter. There was an explosion at the Sherikon Iron Mine. It's far too dangerous. Why? Will Garmoth appear and roast us alive? Hmm. Do not frighten them, nor be so frightened yourselves. Are we not descendants of the Sherikons, the mighty dragon slayers? But since you mention the explosion at the mine, I should tell you of a dream that Nana Margot had. Pray, stay a while, and listen. Nana Margot was once chief priestess of Dregan, yet despite having healed a thousand wounded, those of us who had lived through that great conflict were of the belief that her powers had still not yet waned. It is possible that she still has the blessing of the Sherikons, as she is occasionally able to foretell the future. But what caused Nana Margot to have a dream on that fateful day? Nana, of course, offered no interpretation of her dream. But hear me, young one. For I fear the dream foretold of another danger yet to come. What that danger is, no one can truly know. The six witches that bloomed from Labresca's demise protected us from fearsome dragons and their fire. However, 
As flowers must wilt and fade, the witches sought a warrior of winter before they too would need retire. O oh, warrior who shall best the witches' trials to stand atop the frosty peaks. Bear great Labresca's treasure, the abyssal flames of Enix which consumed even the gods. And confront the darkness. Come to the haven of slumbering origin at the mountain of eternal winter. <laughs> the determination in your eyes is unwavering. Reminds me of my youth. Very well. Go to the office of the Duvenkroon mercenaries. Those who fear not danger are oft drawn to that place. I imagine you'll have no trouble finding someone to join you on your journey. Hear me, young one, for I fear the dream foretold of another danger yet to come. What that danger is, no one can truly know. How's that for a lucky break? The day the savior of Serendia arrives, the retired priestess gets a vision. <laughs> now, if it should concern the six witches, I might actually know a thing or two. I read up a little on them, you see. In the crypt of resting, the six witches of the Mountain of Eternal Winter sent the Yenix to Orzeka with Silverfrond, who himself borrowed it with the approval of the Golden Dragon Labresca. What? How did you pull that out the top of your head? Been making deals with the Thornwood Goddess, have you? As if. Anyway, fortune telling is like wordplay. It's easy to add meaning to the words once you know the outcome, but not vice versa. We know the Yenix was last seen in Orzeka, and that it may have been returned to the Mountain of Eternal Winter. But you don't really know with these records. Ugh, you're as dense as a Valencian elephant and half as smart. Let's just follow the prophecy. Worst case, it spells our untimely demise. Either way, we've got to stop Alesra before she dooms us all to the haven of the slumbering origin. We'll bust the doors down if we have to. Miss Know-It-All is right for once. It'd be best to pursue the legend of the six witches. I guess it's time we paid a visit to the Dregan mercenaries. Or rather, you paid a visit. Assistant! It'll break your heart to hear it, but you'll have to go alone this time. The Society of Equilibrium has summoned us regarding the Ataraxian situation. Don't worry, Assistant. I'll continue my research on Yulanokia. You can manage without me, right? Our lives are in your hands, but no pressure. Miss Know-It-All is right for once. It'd be best to pursue the legend of the Six Witches. Maybe mess up some old mercenaries escorting the Sherikon Iron Man investigators this way. Those heading to the Elton Snowstorm Guard post that way. Uh, registration for the Tory Woods search team is over here. Oh, I was wondering when you would show up. Ugh, it's been absolute chaos here lately. There was an incident at the Sherikon Iron Mine. But why has it got the whole mountain of eternal winter in an uproar? Hey, Odell, folks are saying I need a pass to get to Elton. The chief told me to get one here. Is that right? Yep, that's right. I'll get you paired with an escort. Whew. I don't even have time to listen to the details anymore. A mercenary office could really do with some backup. What's that now? Are you interested in helping out? You know where my dad went? Uh, where did he go off to this time? I love my 
mercenaries. They're welcome anytime. This here is the best mercenary office in Dragon. You looking to do anything specific? Beat up some mammoths or maybe mess up some. How about it? Anything that strikes your fancy? Tell you what, I've got just the quest for you. Very hush hush. Shh. Closer, closer. Up on the second floor, there's a person looking for someone to climb the mountain of eternal winter in their stead. As for rewards, the hired mercenary need only name their price. The finder's fee was quite generous as well. For some reason, my father was reluctant to take it on himself. I inquired as to why, but he wouldn't say. But you know the Odelphin guarantee, right? When we get a job, we see it through to the bitter end. <laughs> and I'm not just telling you about this because I'm super busy. Nuh-uh. I... Yo-ho! So you've come! You're gonna help me out by climbing that mountain. Well, I gotta say, you look kinda young, would you just freeze out there? what do I do if that happened? There you go, once more. Hey there, how you doing? So, you climb, right? Oh, come on, Lando. You know you can't go in so casual, like. I don't know anymore. Why am I getting so nervous about this? Anywho. Why is no one taking my quest? Is the reward not substantial enough? Uh, huh? <clears throat> uh, hey! You... Do you, uh, hike... much? Uh, no, 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 uh, do you perhaps do much mountain climbing? No, uh, do you love mountains? No, oh, that is worse! <clears throat> How do you do, adventurer? I am Lando. I seek a brave soul to venture forth and climb the mountain of eternal winter in my stead. Great! You'll do! Why so surprised? Jeez, people need more faith in each other, am I right? Here, take this pass. I'm fine without it, but you'll probably be chased off without one. The reward? <laughs> oh man, right to it! I like your style. Actually, someone else will be giving you your reward. Head over to Balak's altar. I need to go pay the finder's fee first, but I'll catch up soon.
Curse it, this is such a waste of my time. Why won't they let us enter? Don't they know how far I've traveled? The explosion happened out west. How is it relevant to anything happening here in the east? Uh, you know how many years we've been trading here? We can't just pack up and leave now. Do you want to see me lose my job? How many times do I have to tell you? There weren't any restrictions. Not Why are you being so strict about it? Don't worry, I'll take full responsibility. So just let me through, all right? Any of those you couldn't pass the checkpoint are detained here. Any of those you couldn't pass the checkpoint are detained here. Waiting for checkpoint inspection? Can't let the cellar dry up with so many customers these days. Provisions are being quickly exhausted. Can't let the cellar dry up though. With so many customers these days, provisions are being quickly exhausted. Can't let the cellar dry up though. That'd be bad. With so many customers these days, provisions are being quickly exhausted. Can't let the cellar dry up, though. That'd be bad. Waiting for check. Can't let the cellar dry up, though. That'd be bad. Pushing. Everyone form a lot. I see you managed to secure a pass despite the crisis. Mind cooperating with us and filling out the entry registry? So, Lando, have you finally found a mercenary? Is this the one who's agreed to climb the mountain? Not just yet! We need to make a quick detour to Camp Balax to get our stamp. Camp Balax? You mean... the Prince? Hmm... To think we looked outside for help. If the chief finds out. Camp Balax. You mean the prince? Uh, Haz, come on, it's me, Lando! You do know your sneaking around is probably already public knowledge in Dregan by now, don't you? Pass. I must say a Any of those you couldn't pass the checkpoint. Any of those you couldn't pass the checkpoint are detained here. When I'm angry.
Can't let the cellar dry up. With so many customers these days, provisions are being quickly exhausted. Ooh, I must say, old... you? I thought I was the only one who knew about the gold. Home is wherever your home is wherever your back has something to lean on. Ain't such a bad model to live by, is it? I'm getting the hell out of this. It's been almost a hundred years since the mine was abandoned, which begs the question. How home is wherever your I'm getting the hell out as soon as I strike gold. This place gives me the creeps. I'm getting the hell out of suits. It's been almost a hundred years since the mine was abandoned, which begs the question, how did my friend find gold here in the first place? Home is wherever it's been almost a hundred years since the month. Home? There's something unsettling about this place, ain't there? Oh, see? Even the horses are acting strange. It's been almost a hundred years. Home is where it's been almost a hundred years since the mine was abandoned, which begs the question, how did my friend find gold here in the first place? Home is wherever your back is some...
been almost a hundred... There's something unsettling about this place, ain't there? Oh, see? Even the horses are acting strange. I'm getting the hell out as soon as I strike gold. This place gives me the creeps. Home is wherever your back has something to lean on. Ain't such a bad model to live by, is it? I'm getting the hell out as soon as I... With so many customers these days... Why are you being so... Home is where it's been almost a hundred years since the mine was abandoned, which begs the question. There's something unsettling about the...
waiting for checkpoint inspections? Then come wait here. Ooh, I must say. Alright, our first stop will be Balak's Altar, but I should warn you, those who climb the mountain without first offering up a prayer, that's the last you ever see of them. Oh, you probably already picked up on this at the office, but this quest is a little secret between just the two of us. Got it? Right there! One hundred years ago, a legendary climber was the first to reach the mountain's peak, the altar of Old Man Muhad Balix. <sighs> that girl over there is a direct descendant of Old Man Muhad. At first, she was pretty upset about being sent to such a rural area. But I bet the sight of some handsome soldiers soon brought her around to the idea, if you know what I mean. If old man Muhad was still alive, I would have begged him to climb the mountain just one more time. That this is a strange sight to see, huh? Originally, there was no. Strange sight to see, huh? Originally, there was nothing here but but now we've got Trigonese, Valencians, and even Calfionians. And the person you will be meeting today is, drumroll, none other than the kingdom of Valencia's current ruling despot, Prince Baronesser! Uh, what's wrong? Stunned by his greatness? <laughs> what can I say? Your boy's got connections. So, uh, you go first. Tell them you're with me and they won't kick you out. I've got one more person I need to offer a prayer for. I am a descendant of Muhad Balex, the legendary mountaineer to have first braved the mountain. It was only recently that the place got filled with so many encampments. Before, it was practically empty here. 
At times I miss the scorching sun of Valencia. It can get awfully cold here, you know. It was only recently that the place my grandfather was the first from the main. Hmm? I was even commended by Dragef. The humans in those two camps only ever come to me when they want something. Valencia North. My little tavern in Duvencroon was such a pleasant place. I wish I had a helper. Hang on, hang on. I'm busy. I wish I had a helper. Do you think that you could mention that to Reyna? Hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. I'm busy cooking at the moment. Hang on, hang on. Report came in from Charbonneau Villa. He said he did need to tell you something important, though. Could you go meet him there?
Your Majesty, people are growing suspicious. Uh, it cannot be helped. I would be suspicious too. Causing a fuss like this just to visit my mother's homelands. Atui, what news have you from Elton? They have expressed their intent to deny our entry. Even more so, your majesty's entry. Hmm. Then there is little we can do. Should harm befall me out here, a town as small as Elton will be crushed by the diplomatic fallout. If only we had the aid of our friend at a time like this. Ah, mother, wherever did you hide it? Shall I bring the Khan-son to you, my prince? He is likely in Duvenkroon. <laughs> well, well. Speak of the devil. Who would have thought we'd reunite here of all places? You are well? And you're the mercenary our friend brought in. Interesting indeed. For our paths to cross here, it must be Al's will. But enough pleasantries. What do you need? Huh? You know this person? Hmm. I see. The trials of the six witches. As a boy, my mother, Queen Marumin, would tell me the tales of her homelands. And my great-uncle's letters suddenly come to mind. Their contents left a deep impression on me. Is that really all you want from me? I'm capable of providing so much more, especially for you. <laughs> if that's the case, I will give him to you as your reward. Me? What are you even saying? You, you, you can't just... Do you think I would entrust this quest to just anyone? A preliminary investigation is essential to employment. First son of the Khan, leader of the Demi Beast's homeland. Due to your status, you have permission to go where you please, even to areas prohibited to fellow Demi Beasts. On top of that, as heir of the Khan, you must know the lay of the land better than anyone. I never studied anything like that. But knowing that you picked me after such thorough consideration, I'm quite touched. Then by offering him as your reward, am I not mutually benefiting all parties? With this, we can now summarize our situation thusly. I wish to find my mother's memento through our friend here. He's looking for someone to climb the mountain of eternal winter. And you are in need of someone that knows these lands. Uh, seems fine, I guess. But why do I still feel like I lost? If anyone objects to this arrangement, speak now. You have my ear. Those Calfionian whelps must- I hope nothing happens at Sandgrain Bazaar in my absence. I hope nothing happens at Sandgrain Bazaar- I hope nothing happens at Sandgrain Bazaar in my absence. I am oath-bound to serve as-
My simply being here must show... Whatever it is Barhan's after, it's clear... There's a lot of Calfionian and Valencian troops around here recently. If you want to trade, you need to know your stuff. If you want to trade, you need to know your stuff. If you plan on... There's a trade manager right in front of you. Who else do you need? In this, if you want to trade, you need to know your stuff. There's a trade manager. In this game, success depends entirely on how fast you can get information. a tower out of stones if I had friends I'd be playing with them I'm building a tower In this game, success depends entirely on... There's a trade manager right in front of you. Who else do you need? In this game...
We must not let a single day go by without an offering. Although not always claimed... There's a trade manager right in front of you. Who else do you need? If you plan on haggling... Now tell me truthfully, does this posture strike the right author- Now tell me truthfully, does this posture strike the right authoritative note? You there! All new visitors must come speak to old Jorge first. Valencia no I used to run a small tavern in Duvencroon, you know. <laughs> hang on, hang on. I'm busy cooking at the moment. I wish I had a helper. I used to run a small- I'm usually in tip-top shape, but-
If you plan on haggling, if you want to trade, you need to know your stuff. In this game, success depends. There's a trade manager right in front of you. Is there something we each have our own? Waters of the fall present quite the view. Do then? Oh, you enjoy fishing, do you? Now that I'm teaching the children their letters, I'll be staying here a while. I may be an adult now, 
but he'll always be Grandpa Charbonneau to me. Have you heard the song of the snowfield sung by the children of Ephyria? Yaskumen compiles lyrics for the tunes I devise. The children of Dregan are all very fond of him. I owe Master Charbonneau more than he'll ever know. Us. Shh, we're pr But larger things like weapons and armor can get a little overwhelming. But larger things like weapons and I used to collect the worn out clothes of the workers here every time the sun went down. I find cutlery pretty simple to repair. I used to collect the worn out clothes of the Master Charbonneau is unfortunately no longer at our charcoal workshop. Treat your workers well, and though he is certainly a man to admire, the jobs he created. He is certainly a man to admire.
Looking for something before? These treacherous mountains are not for the faint of heart. Yet we welcome her rugged curtain. Arethia is the name of the... These treacherous mountains... Oh my. What's wrong with your clothes? I've given much thought lately. Hmm. Yes. I've put aside those trim... We decided from then on, when learning to count... Long time no see, my friend. Are you well? Long time no see... Hi there! Ah, my memories of this... Ah, listening to the stories of all my new friends... I'm sure Mon Munya is waiting for me to lose my voice. Continue along. Arethia is the name of the seventh witch, the Witch of Erasure. She had the gift of washing away the fear of dragons from the hearts of men. These treacherous mountains are not for... We have everything you need. Uh, when learning to count, I always found it easier to learn by selling things rather than listen to Zaya's lectures. We have everything you need. When learning to count, I always found it easier to learn by selling things rather than listen to Zaya's lectures. We have everything you need. We have everything you need. Uh, except for alcohol. When learning to count,
my, what's wrong, Calfeonian cloth? It must be so cumbersome and a far cry from the quality of our fabrics. Calfeonian cloth? Oh my, what's wrong with your clothes? Calfeonian... Wallace Hill's sworn name will be. I'm on guard duty with my twin brother. He just can't bear not being at my side. That's twins for you. Purinil's my brother, and a right clumsy one at that. I've told Purinil...
I wish I had a help. Hang on, hang on. I'm busy cooking at the moment. Hang on, hang on. I'm busy cooking at the moment. I wish I had a helper. Do you think that you could mention that? Hang on, hang on. I used to run a small tavern in Duvenkroon, you know. <laughs> I wish I had a help. Hang on, hang on. I'm busy cooking at the moment. I used to run a small... I am oath bound to serve His Highness Prince Barhan until. Hmm? I wish I had a. I'm usually in tip top shape, but these days, I ain't all over. I hope nothing happens at San I hope nothing happens at Sandgrain Bazaar in my absence. I hope nothing happens at Sandgrain Bazaar in I wish I had a help. I'm usually in tip top shape, but these days I ache. I used to run a small tavern in Duvenkroon, you know.
things that can be bought with money. But wouldn't a nice hot supper be true happiness? If there's a spirit of the kitchen, that would be me. I used to run a I used to run a small tavern in Duvercroon, you know. <laughs> hang on, hang. On. I'm usually in tip-top shape, but these days I ache all over. I wish I had a help. If there's a spirit of the kitchen, that would be me.
I'm usually I'm usually in tip top shape, but these days I ache all over. I wish I had a help. I'm usually in tip top shape, but these days I ache all over. I used to run a small town. I used to run a small- I'm usually in- Something to eat. Shall I cook for you?
voice within whispers. Thou shalt ne'er forget the sacrifices of thy forefathers. I often pray for the soul. The prayer shrines at the top and bottom are each used to offer prayers to humans and dragons. Hang on, hang on. I'm I'm usually in tip-top shape, but these days I ache all over. I used to run a small tavern. 